Don't buy a 2020, 2021, or 2022 vehicle in 2023. Hi, I'm Kevin Hunter, the homework guy, here today with Amazing Elizabeth, the homework gal. If you're in the market for a used vehicle right now, we are recommending that you think back to 2019 at least instead of the most recent three years. There's a few reasons for this. First, as you've likely heard reported by others, the vehicles built over the last three years are showing evidence of being rushed through manufacturing, with automakers cutting corners and cheaping out on quality <laughs> just to get those cars out. That's right. Also, many of those vehicles sat rotting on lots waiting for parts, particularly semiconductor chips, making it impossible to conduct the typical after-assembly tests and checks to make sure everything is working properly. That's right. Many manufacturers ship their vehicles to dealers for final assembly. And both Liz and I are personally aware that dealers do not hire the most highly qualified techs to work in their service departments. Sure. Quite often, they are high school kids working on the cars. If you find this hard to believe, ask for a tour of the service department the next time you visit a dealership. And it looks more like school let out early than an assembly of highly skilled mechanical garage staff. Yeah. If underqualified teenage techs installing your computer chips doesn't sound bad enough to you, perhaps the financial side will persuade you to think about an older vehicle. We are not saying that you can't find a decent deal on a one to three year old vehicle, but we are covering this story today because we are noticing a very disturbing trend in the free bookouts that we've been doing for our viewing audience. You see, Blackbook doesn't just give us the current book value on the vehicle. It also gives us the original MSRP of any used vehicle on the road today. That's right. Since I personally do a lot of the bookout requests, Kevin asked me to compile several examples of what we're talking about. Besides the many inherent problems with quality, one to three year old vehicles are commonly being sold way over their original MSRP. That's financial suicide to buy a vehicle like that. If and when this changes, we'll let you know. For now, we're recommending that you pass on 2020, 2021, and 2022 vehicles. If you want a vehicle as fresh as that because you think you definitely can't go back to 2019, just buy a brand new car. By the way, this is the only time you'll ever hear me say it's smarter to go new than used. And in this case only, with just the most three recent years of cars. Liz is responding to hundreds of viewer emails a day right now, so we have tons of examples of this. 2020, 2021, and 2022 used cars are typically priced way over original MSRP right now and are way off balance based on normal depreciation. Right. Focus elsewhere is what we're saying. Stay away from those overpriced, generally poor quality vehicles. Right now, we're in a falling car market, so that should tell you why we are concerned. If you pay over MSRP for your used vehicle, you'll be financially buried underwater with your car in the next few months. So here we go. Our first example is the 2020 Toyota RAV4. I book out a lot of Toyotas. The dealer has its sale priced at $31,590. Black Book tells us it should be selling for average adjusted retail price of $32,125 with rough retail at $30,250. However, the original MSRP is $29,950. That's like buying a used car with a market adjustment on it. It's total insanity. That's like paying an extra market adjustment of $1,640 for a used car. Yeah. This is so wrong because on May 31, 2022, in the middle of the worst inflationary car market the business has seen, it was reported that a new car can lose up to 20% of its value in the first year and over the first five years fall to around 40% from the original price. Right. That means it loses about 15% of its value each year after the first year. This vehicle started at $29,950. It would have fallen by $5,990 its first year and all the way down to $17,311 right now. It's overpriced by $14,279. Yeah. Yeah. My next example is a 2020 Lexus NX300H. The dealer has its sale priced at $39,649. Black Book tells us it should be selling for average adjusted retail of $38,475 with rough retail at $37,200. However, the original MSRP is $39,270. This is a three-year-old car, and supposedly it just hasn't depreciated a red <laughs> cent, despite having about 22,000 miles on it. More insanity. Again, that's like paying a $379 market adjustment on a three-year-old vehicle with 22,000 miles on it. Right. Please don't be so emotionally stuck on a vehicle that you ignore the financial problem staring you in the face. And that's not the worst of it. This vehicle would have depreciated by $7,854 the first year and dropped all the way down to $26,700 by now 
it's overpriced by $12,946 based on a 20% first year drop and 15% in the next two years. Nobody can say that's wrong. Right. Our next example is a 2022 Hyundai Santa Fe. The dealer has its sale priced at $37,600. Black Book tells us it should be selling for the average adjusted retail of $38,475 with rough retail at $37,200. However, the original MSRP is $42,110. This is a one-year-old car and supposedly it has depreciated just $4,510. So that just can't be. And it isn't. Standard first year depreciation is $8,422. That puts the vehicle at $33,688. This vehicle is overpriced by $3,912. Not as bad as the first two, but still bad. Yeah. More examples right after this message from our very own Mary Jo. Hello, I am Mary Jo from the Homework Guy team. Don't Kevin and Elizabeth do a great job? We are so proud of every show our team puts out, carefully researched for accuracy and designed to help car buyers just like you. If you're new here, don't forget to hit the subscribe button below and ring the bell so you get notifications about upcoming shows. Thank you for listening. And by the way, if you haven't already noticed, check out the light pattern on our ceiling. Pretty cool, huh? Here's an example of a 2020 that didn't seem to be as bad on the surface. It's a Mazda 6 Grand Touring. The dealer has its sale priced at $25,406. Black Book tells us it should be selling for an average adjusted retail of $27,350 with rough retail at $25,025. However, the original MSRP is $32,300. As a three-year-old vehicle, how does that come out when you apply three years of average depreciation, Kevin? The vehicle would have dropped $6,460 its first year, taking it down to $25,840 two years ago. Yeah. Right now in year three, it should be at $18,669. It looked good at first glance, but it's still overpriced by $6,737. It really changes things when you apply the depreciation factors, doesn't it? All right, now some of you are reporting that you're seeing fairly big discrepancies between KBB and Black Book values. On these vehicles in particular, the one to three year old vehicles, that's where you see the biggest disparity. Yep, it makes sense to me. If you'd like to show THG some love for producing quality car market updates and honest car pricing advice videos like this one, the links for making a tip will be easy to find in the description box down below. PayPal, Cash App, and Venmo. There's also the Super Thanks button down below Kevin's feet. If a tip is an option for you, there's no need whatsoever to be a part of the donor crowd. Just Show us some love by subscribing and recommending our videos to your friends and family. We thank you for that. I also want to remind our viewers that we'll provide free black book values for a vehicle you're shopping for or a vehicle you'd like to trade in. You can text us at 701-441-3399 or email kevinthehomeworkguy at gmail.com and you'll get an immediate auto response with a roadmap to a successful car deal. If you're out walking the car lots right now, make sure you first see Kevin's playlist, THG's Savvy Car Buyer's Homework Cram Session. Join the thousands of people who have already done that. And if you happen to be on Facebook, drop by and give us a like and a follow. And don't forget to visit our website too, thehomeworkguy.com. We've loaded it up with free resources for car buyers, and we now offer a blog post there too. All right, if you're new here to the Homework Guy channel, don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell. Join our fast-growing group of subscribers and become a part of our family. Thanks, everyone, for coming back. And to all of our faithful subs out there, you guys rock. God bless you all. I'm Kevin Hunter, the Homework Guy, signing off with the amazing Elizabeth, the Homework Gal. The Homework Guy team is serving truth and justice in the car business. We, we gotta, gotta go. go.